呢个特务身边永远有三样嘢：佢嘅秘密、佢嘅敌人，又或者佢永远得唔到嘅情人。For most of the crypt people like me, it's really hard to get a project going, especially if I'm not a big director or a big name, a creative person. Spy B, 任务开始。David Wong's dream of creating his own microfilm will soon be realized. Spy B is being made thanks to funding secured from a new but fast-growing source. Hong Kong company Fringe Backer worked behind the scenes to find financial backers online in a process known as crowdfunding. The concept is fairly simple. Uh, it's different from you know, getting funding from traditional investors because a lot of these projects are entrepreneurs, startups. Previously, they would have to actually look out for an investor before they can go into the market, or they probably have to go into some big corporations, big guys in the market to sell themselves. But right now, we benefit from an online platform, which is literally free, and they're here to actually share their projects, share their plans with everyone. And at the same time, they gain experiences, they gain from the whole process, they learn and they get better. Startup funding was a big focus at this year's HKTDC Entrepreneur Day. The two-day event showcased startup opportunities and support services for SMEs and budding entrepreneurs. The fair's fifth edition featured more than 120 exhibitors, as well as the debut of DealFlow, which brought business project owners together with potential investors. Seminars focusing on IT startups, including one organized by Cyberport, offered advice from tech entrepreneurs on tapping the power of the internet. While other exhibitors, like New York-based General Assembly, which has opened its first Asian branch in Hong Kong, offered aspiring entrepreneurs some hands-on technology and business training. It started in New York City a little over two years ago. And at the time, the startup scene there was very fragmented. So they came together and they decided to build out a co-working space where they would encourage a community, people who were in technology, business, and design. And as a way of encouraging collaboration, they started offering classes where you learn something that's very practical and you get to actually do it in the classroom. So you can see how you're learning, what you need to improve on, and then you can ask someone right away for help. And it's a very different model than traditional education institutions, and so I think people are really excited about it.